MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So Gary, we've got the Cebu M50 AG wire EDM machine here. Can you tell us about the machine? Yeah, it's a high-end, very accurate machine with a, a table movement of 500 by uh, 350 by 310 in the vertical. Okay, now importantly for us is we'd like to explore today why, you say it's a high-end, high-performance machine. Yes. Can we go into maybe some of the reasons that put it in that category? Okay, well, uh, one, one thing that helps with the accuracy is the uh, thermal adjust function right. on the machine, which will check the machine as it's running and, and thermally adjust the, the wire to keep the inclination correct for the machine, depending on the temperatures. So, so depending on the temperature within the factory, yeah, the yeah. machine may grow, and if it grows, this machine will compensate That's correct, in yeah. order to maintain yeah. the accuracy. So on that note, what is the accuracy? Pitch accuracy on this machine is three microns. So three microns, that's impressive. So what other features put this in the high performance category? Well, the latest power generator uh, gives you an extra e efficiency up to 20, 30% quicker than previous. Okay. Um, plus also we have uh, things like core stitch, which will reduce cycle times on a larger number of parts. That, 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 that's key. I mean, the reduction of yeah. cycle times is important. So how does the core stitch do that? What it does is basically it cuts the entire part without using tags. So the part can then be removed from the machine and detagged off the machine while the machine's running on another job. So originally if you'd have had a component you would you would you would cut around the component and then you'd have to come back maybe to yes. detag to, it. To detag it. Yeah. This actually saves you from having to do that operation. That's correct, yeah. So if you had a lot of components in one particular billet, you would be able to do that a lot quicker. Yes. Yeah, okay. it, it basically would be finished when you came in and you could take it off the machine straight away. Is, is that, is that a, a, a feature or function that's um, evident on lots of machines or is it pretty unique to Cebu? It's pretty unique to Cebu, I believe, yeah. So in the brochure here, Gary, we've got an example of core stitch. Can you just guide us through this? Yes, sir. this is the traditional way of cutting an aperture where we will go around it and leave uh, an area uncut, move on to the next aperture, then come back to this later. With the core stitch function, we can actually complete the aperture and go on to complete all the other apertures also. So this means that when we finish the part, we can take it straight off the machine and just tap the cores out. So if you had, as an example, this component here, where you've got lots of smaller components to be cut out within it, yep. that the cycle time saving by not having to come back to do that final operation would be, would be considerable, huge. yes. Yeah. Okay, onto the EL coating. This is another area that we yes. need to explore. Can you just explain this? Well, the EL coating, what the EL coating does is, on the last cut, it will coat the part, as we can see here, with, with some brass off the wire itself. This protects the surface of the carbide, stopping cobalt uh, depletion, which can have an effect of, of weakening the, the uh, material. So an integral part of the machine, Gary, is the automatic wire threader. Can we have a look at how that works? Sure. So the wire is... Uh, fed from this spool here, through the pulleys, down through this tube, through past a sensor here that detects whether the wire is there or not, straight the way through power contact at the top to the power contact at the bottom, and so that's when, ready to go. So when there's a breakage on the wire, yes. you're notified? Yeah. If there's a breakage on the wire, the system will notice straight away, and the sensor here will also detect whether there's a breakage in this area. It can wind the wire back up, sense where it is, and refeed it through. There's a small robot arm that comes out here and grabs the part okay. and takes away the little bit of wire that's, that's no longer used. And what's the timing processes from doing these operations? Is it quick if, if you break seconds, the wire? Seconds. Seconds. Right. Very, very quick. When the wire cut operation starts, a point from here to here, the wire is annealed to make it stiff. So when it's threaded, it goes through nice and easily. Diameters of wire? This particular diameter is 0.25, um, but I think we can go from anything between, from 0.05 up to 
And, and from a viewer's perspective that maybe doesn't know a lot about EDM or yep. wire EDM and they're looking to get into it, why would you use a different thickness of wire? Would it depend on the material? Would it depend on what you're trying to achieve? Usually you'll go for thicker materials, thick, bigger wire, thicker wire. Uh, also, you, you might want to go for a very small wire if you need to do either very fine work um, that's got small slots in it or really small radii. And why would the wire break? Usually it's because there's a problem with either not enough flushing or too much power going through the wire. And can you use your control to control that? This control is very simple. It works on a slider basis, so a, a novice user can be adjusting the power settings without really needing to know the in, ins and outs of what all the power settings do. That's a good point. Let's go and have a look at the control. OK. So the control is a Fanuc 31i. That, from my knowledge, is, is a high-end Fanuc control. Yeah. Um, as a user, or as a potential user, what features and functions does it have that is going to make my life easy? The one I particularly like, and it's good for new users, is that rather than having to learn or understand what these power powers controls do, a new user can simply take a slider and it can reduce or increase the power going through simply by using the slider. So when he moves the slider, it will make all the necessary adjustments automatically, in the automatically within automatically, the field. Yes. Okay, that's one thing. Right, what else? So programming a part, how am I going to go about that? Am I going to do it here or am I going to do it offline? It's usually more convenient to do it offline. Um, you find that offline systems are more powerful than an online system and uh, also they're more closely aligned with the CAD design departments. Okay, and then so if it's designed offline, yes. do you have a solution for that? Yes, we use uh, Opticam, uh, formerly known as PEPS. Um, and what we can do with that, we can program the entire job offline, load it in, and it's there within seconds, ready to go. Right, okay. So I like the machine. You've, you've sold me on that, Gary. What about the company that is going to sell it to me and support it? Well, CNC International have been uh, established for quite a number of years, uh, originally selling second-hand wire machines and die sinkers. Uh, we've now moved into selling new machines, um, but we still have a large number of uh, highly qualified engineers on a vast number of um, or types of, of wire machines in, in, that are in the market. Uh, I myself have been operating these machines since 1984. I've also uh, worked with the um, and for the software people who, who do the offline systems. So Gary's given us a really good insight there into the Cebu range of machines or wire EDM machines. This is one model of a few within the range so if you're looking for something with a slightly smaller envelope or a larger envelope they can satisfy that need here at CNC as well. Now what I've taken away from today is that if I am looking for a machine that is at the, the high end, the performance end of the EDM arena, then the fact that this particular model here has the thermal growth compensation, which enables me to achieve accuracies of plus or minus three microns. It's also got those features that we spoke about, the core stitching, so it means I can reduce cycle times without sort of leaving tags on the components. And also the fact that if I'm looking for a faster machine with a superior control, that the Cebu range should be considered. We also then went on to talk to Gary about CNC International and why, if we were sold on the machine, why would we be sold on their company? CNC have been selling EDM machines, both used and new, into the UK market for many, many years. It's their specialist subject. It's what they, it's what they excel at. And that's why if I'm looking at an EDM machine, these guys would certainly be on my list to consider. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.